Good morning, welcome to another vlog. This is gonna be a full week in my life as a PhD student who is finishing up the eight weeks first term of the summer semester. So if you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student in English studying rhetoric and composition, and I would love it if you would subscribe here. That's my cat howling because she is just going wild right now. So I just had my coffee, did some ice rolling, and I'm gonna wash my face and get ready to go teach in about 20 minutes. Gotta throw on some quick makeup. I should put some dry shampoo in my hair. And I'm going to go over the assignment sheet for the final assignment, which is the revision portfolio, which is a requirement of all intensive writing courses. So students are gonna pick one of the essays or one of the videos that they created so far in the semester and do a whole overhaul, large scale revision, and then a reflection upon the revision process. Okay, here's a very simple teacher fit. Literally just a black tank top and a cardigan that I've had forever and one of my favorite pairs of mom jeans from H&M. And I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop after this, which is why I put on real pants, because they teach on Zoom, and typically I just wear like sweatpants or like pajama shorts. Good morning, everybody. We made it to the final week of our course, so that's exciting. She's gonna eat some peanut butter toast with honey and chocolate chips for breakfast and probably do a little journaling. It's like the world turned its back on us and now we can't tell if it's heaven Okay, just finished up work at Verona Coffee Shop. I was here for about an hour. I graded three projects which each project consists of two parts. It's the video that they made and then the written rationale explaining the rhetorical choices that they made for the video. So grading three in one sitting is about my max. Then I start feeling like I need to take a break because everything sort of starts like blurring together. That is like a really good strategy for trying to do grading, figure out like how many you can grade in one sitting before everything starts getting crazy in your brain. Um, with like written essays, I could typically grade five in one sitting. Um, but with these multi-part projects, I'm capped out, or I need to tap out. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I <laughs> had about three of them. So anyway, I did some journaling this morning, as I showed you, and that felt good. I posted the prompts that I used. I sort of modified them from a Pinterest board, and I posted them on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should go ahead and do that. And one of them was about setting intentions for the week, which I feel like is a little bit different than setting goals for setting intentions for the week. I didn't list like, I want to finish grading. I want to write this much for my dissertation. I sort of just focused on um, like feelings I want to cultivate or like not even manifestations or affirmations, but I don't know, just like specific things I want to do for myself and one of them was I want to be better at like listening to my body and resting when I need rest so I had some coffee and it kind of hurt my tummy a little bit and I could potentially try and stay and push through it a little bit more but I know that I need to like lay down um just like veg out for a little while so I'm gonna do that and but first I'm gonna stop at the library and pick up some books Got my three books from the library. I think I talked about these two in the last vlog and I added this one to the list too. And <laughs> making some or putting some leftovers in a bowl for lunch and Megan ate them in this bowl instead of like a wider plate that we had. And she just said that it changed the experience. The medium is the message. <laughs> At Marshall McLuhan, if you know, you know. Okay, time to tackle this laundry. It's like no have this lavender relaxation candle lit and i'm gonna watch like 20 or so minutes of married at first sight and then hop into reading one of those books i got from the library Another week, another Target pickup. Just a really boring Target haul. I got some baking soda and some Oreos. 
And then this perfume slash like body spray that Megan's sister had when she came and it smells so good. It's been out of stock forever. Hi, Pirelli. But it was finally in stock, so I got it. This is really good for if you um, have like a lot of buildup from like dry shampoo in your hair. I like to use this every few washes. And I was out and then more cotton rounds. Do you want dinner? Now I'm gonna do some reading for fun. I am on the fifth book of Harry Potter. It is slow going, but we're getting there. You set the fire and tone to your promised land. You got a whole religion in the palm of your hand. Okay, it is 1020 of the glow from my computer screen because I forced myself to grade two more projects because I had the goal of wanting to grade five today and work through another section of an edited collection that I'm doing a book review for which I talked all about in my last vlog and I'm happy because I met all those goals for today now I feel like I can go to bed feeling satisfied with myself sometimes it's not worth it to push yourself to meet those goals if you like really just need to sleep and then gotta wake up early and do it the next day but today was one of those days where I was like no I need to just fight through it and I need to do it because I know that I can sleep in tomorrow morning because I don't have physical therapy until 10 a.m. so that's the plan I'm gonna finish drinking my peppermint tea wash my face and go to sleep <laughs> morning be Tuesday time to go to physical therapy okay back from physical therapy it's about 12 30 now I left my house at 9 30 to go to physical therapy it takes about like 20 minutes to get there and then I had to return some pillows to home goods because they didn't work out on Megan's bed that took another 10 minutes then I was getting hangry so I had to stop at Starbucks and get a little feta spinach egg white wrap and then there were just like lights out and construction and driving was just rough so i feel like it took like 30 minutes to get back um anyway needless to say i'm not in the best mood because i feel like just really stressed because i have to get a lot of <laughs> grading done i have a writing deadline coming up and i just feel like i don't know pressed for time and just really stressed out and i know i'm being like really hard on myself because i feel like i haven't gotten enough done this summer um thus far but it's truly just been go 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 so anyway i'm gonna take a minute clean my room put my clothes away from the laundry that i did yesterday and light my lavender candle just decompress for a second um before just jumping into some school stuff it's now 206 i finished cleaning my room ate some lunch drank more coffee just chilled out a bit and i feel better now still not like super in the mood to do work but Gotta do what you gotta do. High speed racing F1 inspired shirt from each and So I'm going to read this book that I got from the library yesterday. Um, How Stories Teach Us, Composition, Life Writing, and Blended Scholarship. This, I'm assuming, is about a personal writing. So I know very little about it. So I'm really just gonna flip through it, really focusing on the intro. Um, any particular chapters with interesting titles and the conclusion. That's sort of an overall good strategy for reading books for the first time. Um, especially if like you're reading it for coursework or you're reading it and you like don't need to read every single word, which hint you very rarely need to read every single word. Um, and then hopefully this will inspire me to do some writing for the discs. Right now I'm like really scared to pull up what I have so far. Um, like I feel my chest tightening and I feel slightly nauseous when I think about it, even though my advisor does not care um, what I give him. And he's like, yeah, cool. I don't know. It just feels like really scary. I think because I put a lot of pressure on myself to get like a chapter to him by July 1st. So I could be like at a really good stopping point and take a break. But I just don't think it works that way. I don't think writing works that way. Okay. Let's read. Okay, worked for 
for about two and a half hours ish and I read the forward, the intro, and a chapter of that book. It's actually an edited collection. I don't know what I was thinking it was, um, but that's still a good strategy for reading edited collections. And especially the forward. Don't slip on the forward because those are often from someone who is like not part of the edited collection but works in the same like subfield and they offer like a really interesting perspective. So read the forward. And then when I was done reading that, I graded a couple of student projects because I'm trying to make like small progress, just a couple each day uh, in a couple different stints because I need to knock them out because they are turning in the next project on Friday already. Whew, eight weeks classes are tough. Anyway, I want to chat a little bit about what I read and then some reading strategies. Someone either DM'd, I think DM'd me and asked if I could talk a little bit more about my reading strategies, so I will do that. So because this book is a library book, I was not writing in it or highlighting in it, so this is reading strategies for taking notes on um, like a physical book that you're not writing in. So I type meaningful quotes. I obviously have to be judicious. I would underline a lot more than just two things from here, but I don't want to spend all that time typing them out. So I type the quotes and then I leave notes to myself for general themes that they're connecting to. So I said, here's this theme of self-disclosure again. This seems to be a defining characteristic of personal writing. And I said, I'm also thinking of the title of my class. I chose a phrase storytelling and just sort of like thinking a bit more about that. So just like documenting my thoughts in process or in progress. And then I always try to pin down definitions or key terms here. Blended writing is what they're coining in this combination of scholarly and personal writing and then how they're sort of defining it. And then I go into the next section, which is the actual intro. Same strategy here. I just do like another indent for my personal thoughts about the quote or about the section and I always always have page numbers and I try to be really careful and make sure that these quotes are written exactly or written um, without any typos <laughs> so that makes like the process a lot easier and avoids any like um, typing errors or what's the word I'm looking for like transfer errors I guess and that's sort of the strategy for this Typically, when I'm done with a piece that I wasn't taking sort of line by line notes with, I'll write like a one paragraph summary of it and then leave myself some questions. So this was a shorter piece and since it was more personal writing, um, I didn't have like a whole lot of reflection to do. I mostly just had like feelings. So I just made a note for myself like I'm really intrigued by this activity that she did. And I want to make a note for myself to look back at her work. I'm familiar with her. She does a lot of writing center stuff to see if she has any like updated work about this activity that she did with her students. And then I always try to leave myself a note for what I want to do next time. So tomorrow when I sit back down to read this edited collection, here are the pieces that I want to focus on or that I want to start with. And then the other way that I'm taking notes um, is for the other edited collection that I'm working through for the book review that I'm going to work on writing in July because it's due in the beginning of August is the same thing. I sort of have sections. So let's go to one about the articles. Okay, so this edited collection is broken up into different sections. So section one is about discomfort and pain and then a bunch of different articles. So because it's like a 1500 word book review, I don't have a whole lot of space. So I'm not leaving super detailed like line by line or quote by quote notes. So I just leave myself a summary after I read it. And then I have a section for comments and questions things that I am thinking of writing in the book review, like I wonder why it was put into this section and not a section about race or a section about marginalized bodies. Um, and I also will maybe make note of like notable quotes either in the summary section, like right here I say a really excellent quote is our bodies affect the space of the writing center just as the space of the center affects our bodies. Um, and then I sort of do that. For all of them, I tried to take more detailed notes on the first article of each section because this was the longer article and it was the one that was used as the theory. And then the other ones are sort of um, like literally fleshing that out by providing um, embodied narratives for them. So this is just two strategies that I'm using to take notes right now. I have more detailed options on my notion that I've talked about in a lot of vlogs and that's how I do things for the discs and that's how I did it for exams and for the perspectives. So that was a very quick overview. 
if you want like a sit down chat or you have more specific questions or you just want to tell me what reading strategies you use for taking notes go ahead leave it in the comment send me a dm i would love to know when i was in coursework i did all my notes by hand um and that was really great for me i feel like it's hard for me to pay attention as multiple people are talking in a room or as like one person is lecturing if I have my computer in front of me. So it was really hard for me to focus when I was on Zoom because I always felt the need to like have a bunch of tabs going. I always had my email open, Amazon, Target and different tabs. So I would take notes um, by hand. Even when I was in my independent study on Zoom, I took notes like in a physical notebook. But of course, the biggest drawback to that is you can't just like easily copy and paste. You can't do command F to search for key terms like you can when you take notes online. So... I just have like mixed feelings about the modalities and the mediums through which we take notes. Um, the main takeaway is you gotta do what works for you. Take a break, read more Harry Potter because I still have the lesson plan today and wanna make sure I leave some energy for that. But honestly, I'm so tired if I don't have energy, I might do it in the morning. Got some Jimmy John's for dinner, made a liquid IV, but I had a free sub because I downloaded the app, so I don't feel too guilty. Okay, it is 11.26. I just got back from watching The Bachelorette at my neighbor's house with Megan, and I told myself I was just gonna lesson plan in the morning, but I just, I don't know. I was like, let me just make sure I have this PowerPoint from previous semester so I can just adapt it. And I was like, I'll look at it in the morning, but then I just like started adapting it, so. I have to put some finishing touches on things, but it's going to be a pretty easy lesson um, because it's just strategies for revision and then they're going to spend some time in breakout rooms doing basically another round of peer review because it's just three vision portfolio unit. Um, so yeah, my computer's on 13%. That means it's time to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Look at Pirelli just staring through the window. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am in the car at 10.45 a.m. I finished teaching, put on some like leisure clothes, and now I'm gonna head to Kroger to get just like a few things of groceries for the upcoming week. Megan and I are actually going out of town um, to visit our friends in Wyoming. So I don't wanna get a whole bunch of stuff, even though we still have like another week here. I don't know, it's just like one of those things. Anyway, it's like super, super foggy outside because the air quality is so bad and this like makes me nervous to like go outside and like my house, but I'm like, I'm outside for like a minute tops when I'm like walking into the store. It's just crazy. This feels like dystopian. Um, don't love it. Anyway, let's go get some groceries. Okay, gonna do a quick little grocery haul because I got some fun stuff starting with these milk bar cookies they have cornflakes chocolate chips and marshmallow and cookie dough obviously i've never seen these carried at kroger and we love some sort of break and bake cookies taco stuff we're gonna have some tacos pizza crust blueberries and a lemon to do with sort of like blueberry sauce because we want to do brinner one night onion pepper and eggs really like these happy eggs these grapes are on sale half off which is really good a little caesar salad kit some spinach this is organic spinach but none of the spinach was looking super great so i might have to pick out some gross things i really wish Publix at moments like that this frozen pizza we really like the mushroom one from trader joe's so this seemed like a similar version just three times the price bananas for megan impossible meat this is light I don't really know what that means because like this isn't real beef to begin with so i'm intrigued but that's for tacos for tacos then coconut milk and peach juice to make sort of my own at home matcha that i really like to get with coconut milk and peach juice and hopefully this will be a cheaper alternative and then some more coffee creamer <laughs> two o'clock 204 I just took an amazing everything shower and I did my eyebrows a little bit and now I'm gonna make a matcha using the coconut milk and the peach juice and obviously I'll keep you updated on if it tastes like Starbucks or not and I was gonna do some grading but my computer is in the office and Megan is teaching so 
what a shame. I mean, I just, I, I can't do school for another hour or so. So I'm gonna paint my nails um, to keep this little self-care day going. I'm also going on a date tonight, a second date. Um, we went on a first date on Sunday. So I feel like you always learn so much from the second date. I feel like I've had a lot of really good first dates and then we get to the second date and then it's like, actually, we don't really have anything in common. So I will obviously keep you guys updated on that too. So let's make this matcha and paint my nails. Lemon of truth. It's not as cold as I want it to be. It need, the ice needs to like chill it, but I'm nervous. It's no Starbucks, but it's edible. Might need more peach juice, honestly. Okay, more peach juice definitely helped, but I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it's like the brand of stuff that I got, but why is Starbucks so much better? A couple hours later now, it's almost five o'clock. I painted my nails, did some grading, and I blow dried my hair. Also got a fun new package. It's upstairs. I can show the vlog when I go upstairs. Um, it's like a little ottoman stool for in front of my mirror so I can sit on and do my hair in my room and do my makeup in my room instead of standing in the bathroom. And I have a couple hours and I'm trying to decide if I want to, I know I need to do something school related because I didn't do much school stuff this morning. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do more grading, if I want to read more of that book. Um, the goal of reading is that it will inspire me to write and I'm definitely not in the mood to write right now but I also really don't feel like grading. Sometimes it sucks the life out of me, um, even though the projects have been really great so far. So I think I'm gonna read and maybe write a little bit. Two hours, you could get a lot done in two hours. <laughs> Okay, here's the little ottoman. I think it's really cute there. Also very practical. So you can put stuff inside of it. So I'm thinking of putting my makeup bag inside so I can sit here every day. Also, here's the fit. We're just going to the Allery, which is a pretty like casual place. So this is what I'm wearing. And then just these beige sandals that are not plantar fasciitis friendly, but it is what it is. It is a rainy, thundering, lightning kind of morning here in Bloomington. Good morning, happy Thursday. Oh my gosh, it's Thursday already. I just made myself a cup of coffee in my Ember mug. My allergies are absolutely horrible right now because I'm like at the end of my nasal cord and I need, I forgot to just like buy a new one. Um, even though I take like a daily allergy pill every day, the nasal spray is really what's helping me at this point. So anyway, um, Got back from the date last night at like nine o'clock and I was just so tired. I just like went straight to bed. I didn't like read, I didn't watch a show. I just literally laid in bed and fell asleep. Um, you'll learn a lot from second dates. Don't think we're compatible. Don't think it's for me. Um, that's okay, you live and you learn. I feel like dating is productive when you look at it as like a learning experience, which I know is something that everyone says, but just, you learn about yourself, you meet other people, you try new places around town, uh, got some ice cream. It was, it was fun. I just was like, nah, this isn't for me. So anyway, I really need to do some dish stuff today because I've been procrastinating and I was feeling real anxious yesterday. So let's get into some reading and hopefully that inspires some writing. Okay, I went ahead, changed out of PJs, put on some comfy clothes for today, and I'm gonna take a little break, make myself some breakfast, because it's already 12.20 and I haven't eaten anything, I've only had that coffee, um, and then I think it's time to write. Whatever I write will be enough. I'm just gonna set a little timer, I'm not gonna put like a word count on it, and it's just gonna be what it is, and that's fine. That's fine for today.
Changed locations, moved into the office, got some grapes for a snack, some ice water, put on a sweater. Have 700 words so far, and we're gonna keep cranking them out. And a blanket to be cozy. <laughs> Okay, it's 3.03. I think I'm done writing for the day. I read about 1,400 words, so I'm happy with that. But I thought that, way, that I would be able to get quite a bit of writing done because I was focused on explaining the class that I've taught this semester. I talked about it before, but I have IRB for this class. So I want to reflect, um, not even reflect, just like narrate the course arc, the course trajectory and everything while it's like really fresh in my mind. Like tomorrow's the last day of teaching, the last day of the semester. Um, so I went through and I just talked about each of the units and what my thought process was for designing each culminating assignment for the unit. Um, and this was a lot more narrative than like, traditional theoretical writing so this at this current moment felt easier not that it's always easier this just felt like i was able to write more words more quickly that's what i mean by easier um of course there are like some people cited within this it's not just like a straight narrative like i was building off the pedagogy of jody shipka of shank wood um and then of course as always my biggest tip for writing i left myself some notes for where to pick back up so i didn't get to talk about like one other element of the course the videos that they've been making weekly um i didn't talk as much as i want to about how vlogs specifically are like a form of this class um or like the core of this class and how they relate to video in general and i didn't talk um i didn't like do the full bridge into the stuff that i read in this edited collection about storytelling but i have a lot of notes from what i've read from here so i feel like i will be able to do that tomorrow or Saturday so I feel good I'm gonna take a break and then I have got to do more grading today and that sucks but I gotta knock it out time to partake in treat culture I'm gonna go to Starbucks and I can't decide if I want a tomato mozzarella panini or if I want egg bites it's three o'clock Megan said getting egg bites is weird uh, but she said do it if that's what I want to do it's a game time decision I'll see what I want when I'm up at the window went with the panini Okay, the rains have started up again, and we had like a glitch here, and I think the power went out at the health center, which sucks because I was on a call with them, and the call dropped. Super windy, super rainy, but perfect time to read Harry Potter in bed. Okay, it is a little after 10.15 now. I got some bad news for Megan. I was planning on using tomorrow for my final class for students to fill out the OCQ, which is the end of course questionnaire, which is basically like your evaluations, um, which is especially important this semester because it's a 200 level course. Um, and because I'm applying for a teaching award that requires you to have these evaluations. But they close at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow for some reason and my class is at nine. So that sucks because I'm gonna have a really low response rate. So I just sent a Canvas announcement and was like, oh my God, I, I messed up. Please just fill them out now. But yeah, it is what it is. It's truly not the end of the world, but I'm like bummed about it. Um, especially cause like I want that feedback. I want to know like what students enjoyed about this class and what they didn't, um, what worked well, what didn't. So we'll just have a, the discussion tomorrow um and I made a powerpoint that basically covers all of the stuff that we've learned just to remind students like this was only a week's course but we covered a lot of ground and then I'm gonna have them do an activity where they create a collage on Adobe Express sort of showcasing what they've learned um via images and this will be like really cool shareable graphic um for like job talks and stuff and I think they'll have fun making it it's more fun than like write a paragraph about what you learned I think um and hopefully it's something they hold on to and they can just look back at it to reflect on this class waking up at 9 a.m for their summer course so anyway I'm gonna take a shower my hands kind of hurt from like doing so much computer work today um so that's not great but I'll check in with you guys tomorrow for the last day of the semester such service Thank you so much, Bestie. Thank what inspired you, you to go today? I don't know. Just 
chill with it. Yeah, it's just like, I just can't decide what to do with my life. So let's just so go to Dunkin'. Let me just get out, let me go get some Dunkin'. So late. I thought it was going to be a little quicker, but it was very crowded. It's all those orientation parents. Honestly? <clears throat> Excuse me. Could be. Well, have a great last day of class. She's checking out my canvas page. Yeah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Done teaching. Till January. Feels like I could take a deep breath of relief. Just have to finish some grading and we'll be free. Okay, it's about 12.35 now. I am gonna drive to the health center because I have an appointment today that I made yesterday um, because I really need to get my anxiety medication results. And apparently I haven't seen this doctor about anxiety medication in over a year, even though I've seen her more recently for other things. So I have to see her face to face to just and pay the fee just so I can say like, hey, I've been on this anxiety medication for years, working great, can you just refill it? Um, yeah, so let's go to the health center and then maybe I will treat myself to like a little smoothie or something. Back from the doctor's office, got my prescriptions and I stopped and got a smoothie bowl from Rush Bowls and I paid extra for granola on the bottom because their granola was so good last time. And let's give it a try. 4.45, just finished doing some grading out on the porch, which is why my face is a little red. I hope I didn't get sunburned. I was irresponsible and to put on sunscreen. But I think I'm gonna call it quits for working on school stuff for today. And I am gonna take a really nice long shower and lay in bed and read some Harry Potter because that's what I wanna do. And then tomorrow I'm gonna really work on finishing up um, the writing so it's in a place where I can send what I have to my advisor. You're so cute, Purr. She wants dinner, per usual. Well, it's a Friday night and we don't have much to live for. So, we're going to Target. We're going to Wyoming. She said, let me try them on. Yeah, just a little thought, fun thought I, experiment. I won't, I won't show the feet. So. Like that you can see my foot? <laughs> Maybe I should go up half a size. It's the yoga pants for me. The flared leggings, I'm sorry. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Another really rainy day here in Bloomington. I'm sitting on my bed with a cozy blanket and it's time. I'm going to open up my laptop and read through like five different word docs that I have and try and piece them together into some semblance of a draft of something that makes sense. Um, I do want to do a little more writing before I get into revising. Um, I mentioned last time I did some writing, I just did like a sort of like explanation of the class I taught and how the units were all fitting together and now I want to do a bit more theorizing of how that connects to personal writing with the edited collection that I was reading about personal writing um specifically pulling in some of the intro and how they're defining personal writing specifically blended writing is what they call it where or blended scholarship which combines like personal writing with academic writing and just like blurs the line since it's not really binary um and hopefully I can come up with something that makes sense for that because I've been like thinking through this idea of vlogging as personal writing for what feels like months now and I want to be able to give my advisor like writing about it because we've talked about it a lot and I think that's what I'm gonna do for today then give myself some time to rest and then tomorrow power through the last of the grading so I can be free for summer okay I don't know what's going on here that's weird um but I wrote for like an hour and I feel like I got myself into this dilemma that I always get myself into where I'm just like adding new key terms and I know my advisor is gonna be like define your terms what does that mean <sighs> so right now I don't just have personal writing I also have storytelling because my class was called public storytelling through video and the edited collection is called how stories teach us and then they introduced that phrase of blended scholarship so I have personal writing storytelling blended scholarship and I kind of feel like they're all the same thing um, and I know my advisor is going to tell me to just pick one, but the thing that's hard is like when I'm 
quoting from them. They're using like all these different phrases. There's also life writing. That's one of them. And then I have vlogging. So I'm trying not to like get too bogged down into like the weeds of that. Um, Cause I know I can like sort that out later. I'll pick one term and just stick with that. It's probably gonna be personal writing. And I always just keep coming back to this point after like I summarize what people say about personal writing where I'm like, okay, I finally understand how people are defining it. I have like these key definitions of what it means. But then I get to the point where I'm like, okay, and therefore, how is vlogging personal writing? If this is a definition, how is everything you know about vlogging fitting in with this definition? And that's where it gets hard because I'm not sure what to say. I think I need to just like draw my personal experience there and know that like that's allowed. My years and years of vlogging at this point which is what I argue to do, that students should be able to draw on their personal experience. So like, why do I have such a hard time doing it myself? Just thinking out loud here, my writing process. Okay, it's a little 4 one thirty, and I think I'm done writing all my new stuff for today. So I'm gonna take a break, a healthy length break, and either do some yoga in the living room, or if it's not gonna rain, it's not too hot out, I might go for a walk, um, watch a show, eat lunch, chill out for a sec, and then later today, come back and try and piece things together. And I'm so nervous for that, but done is good enough. Done is good enough. Okay, I think the weather should be okay and not rainy and it's cloudy, so I don't think it's too hot. And I'm just gonna wear this sort of tank or long line sports bra that I got from Target yesterday with Megan. It's so cute, it's 30% off. She bullied me into getting it, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, I finished my walk, took a shower because it's really hot outside, but before I did that, I was sitting on the porch and Megan came out, I have her here to contribute to the story, and she was like, Sarah, someone's having a garage sale in our neighborhood and you know what's for sale? And I said, a bike? Because we literally just looked at the bikes at Target because I wanted to see how much they were. And she was like, yeah. So she took like three bites of her Jimmy John sandwich and then we were like, we gotta get over there. <laughs> so... I, just took, I don't know why, I was just like, we, we can't wait. Like, we can't wait. We, no, we must go. It would have been so sad if someone took the bike. So then... There we, was not a single person there. No, no, no. Nothing was going on. But I was like, what if they close up shop? Like, I, I don't know. I was just like, we yeah, have to go true. over there. I feel like they had just set up when we got through there. Anyway, I got a bike. It was only $40, which that's good because we'll see how much I use it. In my mind, I'm going to use it every single day. I don't know about that. In my mind, I'm going to use it a lot. But I was like, oh, I don't want to spend like two to three hundred dollars for like brand new bike. So Megan took it for a little test ride too. At first it was way too tall. So then the guy came and he lowered the seat for me. And then I rode it around a little bit and I forgot what it's like to ride up hills. And oh my gosh, I was out of breath. I'm low key still out of breath. Really? Megan manifested a bike for me, you guys. I did. I was so excited. I was like, I have to go tell Sarah. I have to go tell Sarah. So, once what again, what what can't Megan do? Oh. Someone commented that in the last vlog. Look at Pirelli trying to eat grapes. Her. Well, yeah, she said she was intrigued by a cooler a that cooler. they had. Because <laughs> I drove by and I was I was peeking, I was looking, and I was like, ooh, that's a nice cooler. And then I just like kept driving, and then I was like, wait, there was a bike there. Like, hello. So I was like, what am I thinking? I was like, I gotta go tell Sarah. Do you see this? Like, just fully, fully engaging. You want some grapes, Purr? She's so cute. Love. Okay, it is 5.30. I am setting my computer up in the office and hoping I can get through these edits. It's mostly just like reorganization doesn't need to be perfect, doesn't even need to be good. Just something that makes sense. Um, well, I can get through it in an hour. Definitely no more than two though. Okay, it's 6.27. Want to give an update at the one hour mark. 
revising sucks almost more than writing and I'm not even revising I'm just like copying pasting entire paragraphs and trying to make like some type of like logical organization of all of this and it's it's hard because I did start by reading back the draft that I had sent my advisor um, at the end of April and I remember he had not like harsh feedback for it but he was like yeah there like a lot of work needs to be done and I was like well, that wasn't too bad compared to what I'm giving him now so <sighs> no more than another hour spent on this just keep grinding seven o'clock exactly email has been sent to my advisor I'm free of this until our meeting on Monday Sunday my allergies are popping off this morning I think because probably slept in my bed last night and I am per usual still out of my nasal cord I woke up this morning made some homemade waffles with a yummy blueberry lemon sauce for me and Megan we watched F1 Max we're stopping one again and it's not getting it's not fun anymore um it's, it's getting old that's what I mean to say um did some journaling and now I am going to grade Grade, 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 grade. Okay, I finished one batch of grading, just like, is that a pimple? Oh gosh, oh, I can't, I can't look at myself right now. I finished one batch of grading and I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a break, go for a bike ride. I was out there for 12 minutes and I came back inside and I had to lay on my floor with like two fans on me. Um, Cause it was so hot out there. I thought I was gonna pass out for a second. Anyway, I'm not dramatic at all. Um, I'm disgusting, I really need to take a shower. I want to power through the rest of these grades, these revision portfolios, then I can have a nice relaxing shower and get some ice cream with my pal Joanna tonight and just be in summer. At the very end, I had literally one more comment to make and Wi-Fi cuts out. Okay, 10.15, hair's frizzy because I was sitting outside and got rained on. Got some ice cream, got some orange sherbet with Joanna and Megan and we sat and chatted for quite a while but this has been a full seven days so I'm gonna go ahead end off the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching I have no idea how long this is gonna be when I work on editing it also don't know when I'm gonna be able to get it up but I hope it's soon our wi-fi still isn't back so that's gonna make exporting and uploading a little challenging um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thanks for watching the whole thing if you've made it to the end as always, let me know what you want to see in future videos. Let me know what questions you have. If you want to chat, send me an email, send me a DM on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. All of the stuff. Until next time. Bye. All the lovers, we were diving for today.